Now we are going to paint figures using our two brushes. So these are the four figures that um, I want to paint. So a fisherman, an old man with a walking stick, a lady with a handbag and um, a cyclist. So let's begin. So the first one is the fisherman and I'm going to give him a red hat. So about here. That will do. And then I need a dark colour here. Like that. It's all really just simple shapes, but I'm going to make this even darker. Yeah, maybe a tiny bit wider. And um, whoops, I need to, uh, to get some paint that's a bit redder. And this needs to be a little bit wider. I made it a bit too high that part. Okay now we're going to continue so I'm going to do his um, body next and um, I'm going to give him a blue shirt so that's basically his head there and then we've got shoulders here want to curve them a little bit And he's got one arm coming out like this. So I'm using not the flat this time, but like the um, the full length of the brush and the tip to do this arm. And then another arm here, which is coming down almost straight down because it's holding a bucket like that okay and now I need some red here we go with the red paint So here we've got some skin, whoops, and I went too far down here with the blue, but I can wipe this out. I need to just spray it, and then just to do the hands. So. one hand and then here's another hand okay that will do and then a darker color next and I'm basically just gonna do like a carrot shape just comes down like that maybe make it a little bit longer and I'll dry my brush and try and get a little bit of a dry brush effect because that will give a feeling of motion and then 
He's wearing dungarees, I think that's what you call them, or a boiler suit. And so I'm just going to paint that. So it has to be fairly thick mix, otherwise it will just disappear. Okay, there we go. And um, a shadow. So I didn't want the shadow too strong and I want a little bit of red in it. And let's imagine the light's coming this way. Oh. And here we go. I don't want it to be too big either. So maybe the sun's coming down a bit more like this. And then suggest this hat like that. Oh, and he's got a bag here. Maybe something like that. And um, what else? Okay, so he's got a fishing rod. So I'm going to switch now to my liner. Mm -hmm. This is quite a thick mix. Whoops. And this, this fishing rod, it starts out thick and then gets thinner. And then um, here just suggest some creases in this in his shirt. And then here we've got a bag. So maybe I want his bag to be a bit lighter than this. Okay, that will do. Okay, and then dark here at the bottom. Like that. And um, let's do his face. So I wash my brush out and then I just wet here and um, oops and then get the tissue and um, yeah that's pretty drastic but that's what it needed. Also, maybe I need to lighten these a bit, so use a bit of tissue too. So I'm just wetting my brush, drying it, and then I can wet here and wipe it up. It takes a bit of time to get a feel for the mix, strength of the mixers, what you can do and what you can't do, but with practice you'll start to get a feel for it bit by bit. And if you do it too wet you can always wipe it up quickly. There, something like that. I think I might get rid of the excess water there. And um, 
Maybe I should have strengthened that a bit, but it's okay. It's not so bad. And I think I got the skin color working quite well. Maybe this is too wide, but in fact, this is way too wide. What I could do is get rid of some of it later on, but it's, it's good enough. Now we're going to do the next figure. Now the next figure is going to be an old man with a walking stick and a white hat. So um, I'm trying to make a really light gray here using my red and blue. And that will work. That could be a white hat. And again, I've done a really big hat. Okay, and then here's the head. And then I'm going to give him, I think I'll give him a red top. Let's see how that goes. Add a bit more water, a red top. Yeah, so shoulders like that, then coming down. Again, it's all too big, really. But you live and learn, hopefully. And then an arm here. And I don't mind that bleeding together. A little bit. And then I need to get his hands right. And I don't want it to be too strong, the uh, red here, because this is going to be like a skin colour. So I want it to be a slightly paler look so one hand is like that coming down like that maybe a little thumb there and we've got a little thumb here and his fingers here okay that will do and then i need a dark mix for his pants so some blue and some red And um, here we go. And so I'm painting over this, but I think that's okay. Yeah, maybe make these legs a little bit thicker. And if I can, I'd like a bit of a dry brush edge to them. That would look better. And let's do his walking stick. So it looks like his hand's actually a bit open. So that's a little bit regrettable, but just do the best we can. Okay, and then his walking stick comes down like that. And then let's do a simple shadow underneath. Maybe the sun is directly above him. Like that. Almost like an oval. And then I want to do some creases in this shirt of his. So I'll do a few there. And maybe here. And also one here. Maybe he's got some kind of belt there. And then um, that by itself is actually good enough. 
I mean that really is good enough I mean what we could do and this might be a bad idea is make a thick mix and then just um, suggest here some eyes it's looking a bit too strong though so I might dab that out because it really is too strong so I've dried my brush and so I'm hopefully it's now a bit fainter and I'm taking some of this really strong pigment off because it's it's too strong that might work if I do his hat a bit stronger he really looks quite cowboyish to be honest there we go so that's not too bad it's a little bit strong on the strong side um, here we go this might take a bit too much off okay there we go and then maybe something for a mouth okay it's just rough I don't normally do the faces but oh and this is still a bit dark I mean wet so it's all just it's all just expanding I thought it would actually be dry by now but but there you go it's not dry so I'm going to try and use a thicker mix and hope that it works oh there we go oh that one worked out quite nice there we go and this guy looks like a real mean character doesn't he so Okay, there we go very good and I might do a few details here this hat is obviously a bit ridiculous it's a bit too high should be about there maybe in a bit but and I might just do this I might just make it wider okay I need some water I think if I bring this hat down a bit more it might look a bit more interesting but it is massive it's a massive hat it's a bit ridiculous but there we go um, you get the basic idea though so I mean they look quite good figures after all despite those silly hats but it's really fun to paint hats just this time I've overdone it and done them too big so now I'm going to do a woman and um, I'm going to begin with her hair so I want quite a strong mix because I'm going to give her dark hair I say dark but really it's um, purplish So there we go and she's got like one of those buns at the back I really like those buns I'm not sure if they're really that popular anymore but you see them a lot in Japan and just looks interesting there we go not brilliant but good enough then I probably need to leave that a little to dry but I am a bit impatient <laughs> and um, I'm going to do her face now so a slightly watery red mix okay and hopefully this is not going to run too much I'm hoping it's not going to bleed too much Now 
Now I need that little gap there. Can you see that? That little... That's where her head is, her face, and here is where her neck is. So that's pretty good. And um, in my drawing, I did her with um, a, a blue top, but I think I'm going to try and make this like white. So in reality, it's not white because if it was, it would be invisible. So I'm trying to make this as light as possible. It's a lilac colour. Now, my red paint has dried pretty quickly, which means it's fairly safe to paint this. But I am sweating bucket. <laughs> well, actually, I'm not, because um, it was very, very hot in Japan, and now the temperature has suddenly dropped, and it's actually gone quite cool. So, um, a few weeks ago I really was sweating buckets, but now I'm okay. So now I'm going to give her a blue skirt. Yeah, I think that looks nice. These colours sometimes look so beautiful. Just very simple, but really, really beautiful looking. And I'm going to have this skirt coming out here like that. And I need to be drawing her hand, but I don't want it to bleed into this because it's still too wet. So I'm holding off on that. But I'll have to do that soon. Because I, I, I want it to bleed a little, but not a lot. I know, sounds very fussy, doesn't it? But it's the truth. So because if it's completely dry, it, it's going to look a bit like it's stuck on. There's a hand, not too bad. And then, Yeah, you see it's bleeding quite a lot, but there we go. And yet down here it's quite dry. And as you can see, it looks, it's not blending at all down here, so... See, that's the problem. But we can correct this, I'll show you how in a minute. So, it's not going to be quite the disaster that it's looking, looking like at the moment. Oh, that's quite nice. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Oh, and I was able to blend that a bit. And here, I just wet my brush, dry it, and wipe out. Now, it's not fantastic, but it's better. Okay, and if it really needs heavy duty, I use the tissue. <coughs> okay, um, so here there might be a little bit of shadow. Woo, that's way too much, isn't it? But you can just weaken it and Soften it. There we go. It's not bad. And um, I haven't really done much of a shadow um, to her clothing, but I might do that in a minute. And then here, I don't really draw the feet. I might just suggest them a little bit because it doesn't tend to work very well. So I'm going to do like a shadow coming forward like that. And that's about it. 
very very simple these are her arms yeah like that these are her shoulders like that okay so there's no problem if you want to look at photographs and just copy them and that's a good way to do it as well and here I just want to indicate a little bit of like um, like it's some kind of little bit of I don't know creases and design and stuff like that but as you can see I'm really doing it in a very casual way but that casualness looks good normally um, and then here get a bit of shadow and I might add some more shadow here Yeah, I'm really going for it now okay I started off strong and then I just water it down like that and you can see it's got a rounded effect now and I'm going to have to do the same with this blouse I don't want to because it's such a beautiful color I don't want to darken it much but I have to do it a bit don't really want to get rid of these details but there you go so there we go and um, just that's a bit strong so hopefully if I try my brush enough, I'll be able to soften this a bit. Use my thumb. Yeah. And then maybe here there's just a little bit of a shadow. And then that's too wet, so I'll suck up some of that paint with my brush. And there we go, that's not too bad. Maybe it needs a touch of darkness here. Like that. No, nope, that's too much. Okay, yep, yeah, that's it, that's good. And then, okay, let's add a bag. I was going to add a bag, but this is all very wet. Um, what I might do then is make this a white bag which hopefully I can do by just wiping up some of this wet paint and then here we go I'm wetting it and then before it spreads too much I'm just going to take it out Sadly, I'm getting a bit of this dress, removing a bit of the shadow there, but I'm going to darken that. And I'm literally now painting around that bag, bringing it out by painting around it, like that. But it works, there we go. So it needs some handles, but the problem is the paint's still very wet but I want to finish it off so let's just try and do a really thick mix that's not going to spread much there we go there we go um, and maybe there's some kind of I don't know something on it um, and that's it I think it looks pretty good. I might want to add little touches here and there. Um, 
So you can see how these two brushes, the thick one, the hake and this liner brush really work well together and give you the chance to do some lovely little things. So one more. So the final thing I'm going to do is my man on the bicycle and he's going to get a blue hat. Well, variety. So let's hope I get the hat right on this one. Okay. Well, I certainly haven't made his head too big. Then I'm going to also give him, well, I was going to give him a, a blue top, but, um, hmm, okay. Let's give him a white shirt. Oh dear, there's a lot of fire engines going by outside and very noisy. Not what you want when you're videoing, but uh, maybe somebody's in trouble, so. Hopefully they'll be okay. Okay, so I'm going to do a slightly fat man. A quite light painting fat man. The interesting shape. And um, he's got an arm coming down here. And he's going to have another arm over here. Like that. There we go. Try and give him a bit of a belly. Just looks good. I don't know what it is. Old men with walking sticks and uh, men with big bellies just very interesting shapes to um, paint okay and then I'm going to give him some blue okay let's do grey shorts hopefully that won't be boring ooh look a bit purplish okay so And now I've made it too watery, but okay. So you really have to um, you have to be quick in watercolor painting, but at the same time, you really have to try and get the right mixes. This is actually drying out quite quickly now. His hat's already dry, I think. It's kind of a purpley colour, these shorts. I'm not sure you often see shorts this colour, but there you go. We'll go with it. I'll just spray him. Okay. And then I'm going to do his, um, his limbs. So first of all, red, get the right mix, and he's got one arm coming down like that. And another one coming across like that. And then he's got yeah, I should probably use this liner brush now. Oh, it was a bit dark. There's one hand. Here we go with the other hand. Okay. His arms aren't super nice looking, but there you go. I might be able to correct that in a minute. Legs are looking okay. Okay. Okay, and then maybe a bit of red for his face. 
Ooh. Sometimes it does that. It just goes where you don't want it to go. <laughs> And it is ear there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. His hat is a bit silly. I don't know what happened with the hats today, but the hats became a bit ridiculous. That is definitely not a baseball cap. So I apologize about that. And I've done a really, really boring looking handlebars here, but there we there we go. Should have had a bit more of a curve in them. I might try and just add a little touch of a curve. Yeah managed to just do it a bit and then here we go with the basket yeah that's that's not too bad I'm not sure if I've got it aligned correctly though so here's the um, bit with the pedals and then I've got my wheels which are gonna come about like that. Yeah, you really have to do this boldly. And if it goes a bit wrong, you can always just, if you're very quick, wipe it out. Oh, there we go. And then let's do some spokes. Mm -hmm. It's nice to do little details like that. Okay. Oh, and then we need a few. I forgot we need a few little metal bars and stuff. So, um, Just have to think about where. Oh, yeah. That's going to be in front of his leg. <laughs> and then there's going to be a bit coming back there and a bit going up there. And it's not too bad. The other bicycle I did was better, but there you go. He looks like he's coming off it. And then a shadow. But it's important to really try to do these challenging things because you will fail. And I'm adding some shadow now. But you'll get much better. Doing these challenging things will make you a much, much better artist. And... Uh, you'll start to enjoy it and here we go and maybe I need some dark mix at the top or his um, hair with a bit more blue to that and hopefully I'm trying to make this hat a little bit higher <laughs> but I've um, hidden a bit too much of his face there. Maybe he's got a bit of hair coming out here. Okay. Mmm. 
maybe a tiny bit better and I'm going to cheat a bit with this hat I'm going to make it a bit wider and then I'm trying to soften it but it's not happening is it okay that will do that's not too bad and um, here not too keen with that it's a bit too strong and soften that with my finger and then yeah that's actually looking a little bit better and might have a crease there and a crease there there we go so this back wheel should have come further back but there we go and maybe I should thicken this tire a bit more if you get a dry brush effect with these tires it looks very very good that's not too bad um, anything else I suppose we could do just the um, the mark of the bicycle these lines even though it's not real you don't have a line that the bicycle is going along but sometimes in a picture it just looks interesting so there you go please have a go and have some fun